beautiful Fumi Nation. <laughs> Welcome to the reunion of Real Housewives of Lagos. And I dressed up for the occasion. Black owned and African owned. The gaily, the dress, the fan is by Bina, my beautiful friend that I have known for over 35 years. You guys support her when I tell you that she's got the looks. She's got the looks. I am wearing this beautiful lipstick called Surprise. And that, my darling, is by Solana Beauty. It is my new summer lip. And the eyes, none other than fabulous Juvia's place. Do not forget to use my discount code <laughs> to get your 10% off at checkout. I am also, you can't see it, but I've also got my push-up tape. Yes, my darlings, I've got it right here and it just sits the girls. I have the thin strips here. I have the thin strips there and it keeps it in place. Use my discount code FUMI for your money off. I'm going to list everything down for you below and also here. Oh my God, it took two weeks for us to have this fabulous reunion and I could not wait. I was pleasantly surprised and I enjoyed the entire episode of Reunion 1. I have to give applause, applause to the ladies. Every single one of them looked phenomenal. Do you love my gilly? I'm not a gilly tire, but I did my best. Laura with that flaming red hair, I want the wig. You looked divine. Iyabo, your makeup was beautiful. You looked like a glistening doll. Choma, Choma looked like heaven. I loved the henna on her hands. What a touch. When I tell you my culture is rich, cannot deny it. Tiana came like the king that she is. I love the accessories. I love the agbada. I love the trousers. It was a touch of touches. Marian came and she came with her crown. She came with the hair pieces in her hair. I lived for it. I said, these girls are fire. And it stopped right there. Why? Because Caroline was not there. The host, Uti Wachuku, did fabulous. He went to each of the girls' rooms to greet them, warm them up, say hello, get expectations for the show, let them get ready. We're going to have fun. Uti, I have to give you your flowers. Congratulations. You look fabulous. I loved your outfit. I loved everything. Needless to say, Uti went back to where the reunion would be held. And it was flawless. Red carpet, darlings. Red carpet and the girls, which I liked and I've never seen in any other reunion. The girls walked out one by one so that each girl got her flowers. She got her presents. She got her time. Yes, darlings. It was flawless. Uti sat down and congratulated the girls. Rightly so. Rightly so. You set the world ablaze with your fabulosity, with your fashion, with your drama, with your individual characters. Never ever in the history of moi, every single episode I reviewed and I was looking forward to the reunion. Never have I been so excited like I was for this show. Dare and his wife were producers of this show. Congratulations. I applaud. I applaud you. I applaud you. Dare, flawless. Flawless. You're a genius. I live for it. Enough. Now let us go into the reunion. One. We go straight away into Laura and Choma's friendship. Uti questions Laura and Choma's friendship. Where did it go wrong? Were you guys really friends? How did it all go down? And so Choma says that I was really a taken aback. I did not mean to offend Laura in any way. But we aren't friends. I was meeting Laura for the first time. Did she come to my store and patronize my business? A hundred percent. And I'm grateful for that. I really didn't even know that I offended her and I'm sorry if I did. I did not mean to offend and I'm surprised that Laura took the offense as such. Pan to Laura. Laura says, listen, 
everybody is my friend. That's what I say. This is my friend. That is my friend. And I have to support Laura in this instance. I am the same way. It's like Fumi Nation. Every single time you guys stop me, I hug you. You are my sister. I don't know you right away, but you know me. That's good enough. And so right away, I'm like, how are you, girl? Are you loving this show? Before I get to two, three minutes in, what's your name? Then I say, come on, let's go onto Instagram and let me show you off because you're family. I understand Laura's mentality. So I think what happened was when Choma said, no, we're not friends, she looked at it as an affront. But the thing is that everybody's different. And some people don't throw out friendship like that because they have a little click and they consider friendship really serious. So I just think it was a misunderstanding having said that laura said i was kind of sort of cheesed off at trauma when she said she was going to slap me on the behalf of caroline like say what again i support trauma if you come to me I, you wouldn't dare but if you came to me and said that you wanted to slap Christina, I will slap you right away before I even hear anything that you have the disrespect to come to her friend and tell me that and think I'll be like, oh, what happened? Oh, I hope to, I'll slap you. Shut up. Christina's my friend. I am biased with Christina. I'm selfish with Christina. I cherish Christina. I'm protective of Christina. If you have an issue with Christina, the best thing for you to do is to say, ah, Fumi, I'd like to talk to you. Um, you know, I hope you don't mind. I just, uh, I felt hurt. Mm -hmm. I felt hurt. I think Christina, uh, her, Christina hurt my feelings. I just wanted to explain to you. Maybe you can talk to her. Come to me with that energy. But if you come to me with any energy, I want to slap your friend. I will slap you right there. Nobody comes to me talking about Christina any kind of crazy way. So I understand how trauma right away defended Caroline. Then Uti goes to the beach scene, the beach getaway that Iyabo hosted, which was very fabulous. When I go to Lagos, I'm going to take Ula there. I'm going to take Adrian there. I'm going to take a couple of my friends. Let us stay there for like at least five days and let me just rest. Oh my God, I cannot wait. Iyabo, thank you for introducing that to me. Thank you to the production to introduce it, for introducing that to me. Needless to say, there was about Laura. And it was Laura here, Laura there. Laura chose not to go for her own reasons. But Uti brought it out that, Laura, you didn't want to go to the beach, but you were in Dubai, all beachy on a boat with lots of water. So what was that all about? So Laura admits, Laura says, you know what it is, I tell you. I know how I looked on the show. Was I drama? Was I difficult? Was I this? I kind of sort of was because why I'm not cool with Caroline. That was what this was all about. And I had the conversation with Yabo. I said, you know what the girls told me? The girls told me this is what Caroline said at the beach party. Because I don't like her and she should keep her distance. But upon looking at the footage that I'm seeing, it shows that, you know what? Caroline said the least. As a matter of fact, it was you, Tiana, who said a lot. Tiana jumped right back in and said, no, I did not. It was a Yabo. They didn't show everything. They cut everything out. On top of which, Caroline did say things about you. Tiana was hot. She didn't give a beat. She gave it all up for what it was. Iapo turned around and said, um, you know what? Laura repeatedly said that Tiana had called her to say A, B, and C. So that was why when I had the, the fitness date with Choma, I repeated Tiana's name because that is exactly what Laura had told me. Laura said, Tiana coming back from the beach getaway, Tiana called her to tell her these things. That was why. Interesting. Very interesting interesting see i'm getting hot do we love do we live hey hey then the host breaks out and says well there was a getaway where at abuja and that is where we are now kind of sort of really introduced to mariam and the girls had mixed feelings about mariam who was she who is this girl who keeps on saying bitch 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 all over the place that was caroline she wasn't feeling it and to be honest Neither was I. You see, here's the thing. Mariam came four episodes in. And so all the girls and myself got the opportunity to observe only her. Do you understand what I'm saying? As opposed to all of us sitting at home, observing all the other girls. Mariam had center stage and that can be difficult at times. She came off a little bit too crazy. And that is not who Mariam is. 
I can comfortably say Mariam has turned out to be one of the favorite housewives of all. She was very fun-loving, she was very calm, beautiful home, wonderful mother, wonderful wife who truly loves her husband and she actually was the positivity in everything that I saw. But in the beginning, I was put off by the bitch, 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 bitch. It can be a bit much when nobody knows you. And I just think that it just came off the wrong way. And so they asked Mariam, Mariam, how do you see the situation? How were you received? How did you feel you were received? Because Mariam said that she felt that the girls kind of embraced her, but Caroline was cool, and most especially in the way she greeted her. And she said, you know, I say bitch all the time. That's her vocab, you know. And she says, you know, bitch. And I get it. Bitch. Bitch. I got it. That is her vocab. And I completely also might I add that I am also going to learn that girls, women, friends, people that I meet that use the vocab and certain other words that I'm not crazy about. I will now learn through Mariam. Give her a beat. Give him a beat. See where it's going because you just might end up loving this person the way I truly have fallen in love and liking Mariam. As Mariam was talking, <whistles> who strolled in? Caroline, it was heavy. And when I tell you the music, <laughs> I felt the chills. It was fabulous. I felt the chills. Caroline came in in black and white. She was ready to deal with these girls. She was ready. Uti said, uh, is there a warm welcome from the girls for Caroline? Not one of them opened their mouth to say hello, Caroline. Hello, Caroline, queen, have a seat amongst the ladies. Yes. <laughs> I'm loving this reunion. And because she kind of sort of interrupted Mariam or came in as Mariam was talking, the most natural question for Uti to ask was like, Caroline, how did you feel about Mariam? And Caroline said, yes, I felt a certain kind of way. I felt a little put off with the way Mariam came in and they showed flashbacks. And it was that game that they were talking about. I think uh, love, marry, kill, you know, what have you done? That kind of truth or dare kind of thing. I don't care for the game either and so i think what it was was that Mariam was cool she was calling it like it is and caroline said i wasn't crazy about the b word it was a little bit for me especially when she did say it again in the evening at dinner it was a bit off but i did go to Mariam and i said Mariam, this is how i felt and we hashed it out and it was okay and Mariam nodded and said yes ish <laughs> There's some bad blood between Mariam and Caroline. I'm trying to understand. I'm trying to understand because I was like, ah, from where? <laughs> so that was that. And then we moved on to where? To trauma's lateness. Uti talked about the lateness. We saw some flashbacks from the Abuja trip. <laughs> of course, from Mariam's dinner. Uti told Choma, Choma, how do you feel about that? I love Choma. In this particular instance, she took 100% full accountability. She said, when I look back, I realize how ridiculous I looked. I also looked how selfish and insensitive it was to the other ladies. I don't mean to be late, but I will and I have done better. I needed to reset her own words. And I appreciated and respected that. You know why? Because for me, it's not the wrong that somebody does. It's the accountability and the fact that they are prepared to do better. So right there was like, Choma, kisses to you. It was her birthday. It was also Caroline's birthday. So let's say happy birthday to the girls. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, girls. Love, love, love. So yes, she took accountability and then Uti gave her a sash and she was like, I don't want to wear it. But she was prepared to play along and she said, you know what? It says best. So I'll take that. Good for you, Choma. Good for you. From there, we go back 
to Mariam's dinner because now we are talking about how Laura told Tony that you know what you do too much and what happened with you girls how did it all fly off this is such a good reunion because we're getting the backstory we're beginning to understand a lot of things that were really not shown and Tony stands her guns and says Laura you know what it is it wasn't so much what you did in front of them to me it was that the girls came back to me to say is it not the girl that you're trying to stand and support do you not see how she messes you around do you not see how she talks about you laura also went on to say i really felt bad because i looked back at the footage and i just saw that you know what is toying really my friend because they showed the scene the elevator scene remember where laura really cried and broke down that was after the group meeting that they had in Yabo's house after the Texas. Remember, Laura had sent text messages after the dinner and they didn't sit well. Laura, I'm going to tell you, the Texas were rude. They were rude. They were not pleasant. It was a group text, meaning that you wanted to use that platform to further shame the girls. Because Iyabo had addressed it at the dinner. You could have chimed in. They also all have children. Tiana most especially has a new baby. I am a mother of a toddler. I know what it is. No matter what, girls, 5 p.m., I'm in this house. I remove all the lashes, the glitter, the glass, the push-up tape, Juvia's Place, Solana Beauty, FDV brand. I leave everything. And I am Adrian's mama. I am Ula's wife. I'm cooking. I'm cleaning. I'm hugging. I'm kissing. I'm putting to bed. Story time. I'm doing all of that. I'm not picking up the phone. And then you know what I do? I'm beginning to exercise again. I'll be living and loving. Yes, baby. 5 p.m. That's it. I'm out. All of the girls have children. All of the girls are married, apart from Trauma, who is really going to have a fabulous wedding. I can't wait because the way this girl gave it to us in this show, you already know. And Trauma will understand when she has children too. So, Laura, it was wrong. I stand by it and I love all of the girls. I'm not biased. It was wrong. And you set the fire ablaze because Caroline said, you know what, sugar, enough is enough. And so she went for you. That was the issue. You were upset because Tiana said, well, I was not there when you met the governor. But she was right. But I agree, Tiana, it was below the belt. It was below the belt. Because if you are friends, you know that hurt her. Because I truly believe Laura does not do runs. Laura said to Uti, the host, you do realize that I'm married to an evil man. Cheating is an abomination. Laura, it is an abomination anywhere in the world to be with a man, to call that man your husband, and to be sleeping with somebody else. It's a no-no anywhere, girl. So yes, you have to realize that you are in a group, that you are an ensemble. And so Uti was like, uh, and so Uti asked, Ask Caroline, Caroline, while you are here, let me ask you, did you really see Laura do runs? Caroline said, no, I did not. But the friends that she was with and showed up to visit the governor to sell her book told me that she does runs. And since she's sitting there accusing me of sleeping with small boys, you get it too. You see, Laura, you have to be careful, sunshine. If you come to a fight with a knife, rest assured, the opponent is coming with a woozy gun and she's firing, especially when you have been giving it to Caroline. You said it your very own self that you wanted Caroline to know, I don't like you, girl. You stay away from me. Well, the thing was that you gave Caroline ammunition. Don't do that, Laura. And also, you said that it takes you two, three years for you to get over somebody. You leave that poison inside of you. You let somebody sleep, room and board for free in your head. Don't do that, Laura. You're beautiful. And I love you and your husband's relationship. I think he was the first husband that we saw on the show. And Laura, he loves you. He's standing by you, ten toes deep. So it doesn't matter what people say about you. That man is not going anywhere. Organe. Okay, I'm gonna, I live for it. I don't speak Igbo, but I have Igbo friends. And I live for Laura's relationship with her man. And I'm sorry you felt that way. But you know what? You've got to be careful when you throw out those darts, hunty. All right, mommy? Okay. Needless to say, Uti said, ah, we've got some text messages from fans. Then they come up there talking about, ah, uh, you know what? Choma is the one that instigated Caroline when they were sending texts. Did you see Choma sent any texts? 
and Choma was really mad. You know, let me take off this sash. <laughs> Immediately, she was hot. She said, listen here, I wanted to respond to Laura. I was on the phone with Mariam. Mariam said, don't. She's only looking for attention. Choma said, okay, no problem. She did not send any texts. But Caroline had a different kind of beef with Laura because she had said, even throughout the show, that you know what? Laura was just gunning for her, giving it to her left and right. She just said, you know what? Gangster keyboard vibes. And she just went off and off. She said, got nothing to do with anybody. It was nothing to do with me, Chama. Caroline wanted to, and Caroline went ahead, and she gave it to her from all the things. It stemmed from everything of how Logger had been treating her on the show. And Tiana chimes in and says, you know what, Laura, you keep on talking about our friends, this, that, or whatever. When I was crying, did you follow me? You said a lot of things. You like to play the victim. Don't be like that. She was knocking Yoruba left, right, center. And you know, Laura was like, ah, but you know what, Tiana, you said this, that, or whatever. But Tiana wasn't having it. Tiana was there and said, Laura, I was a friend to you. I don't play those kind of games. But if you're going to come, you understand me, I'm talking about this, that, and the other. And I am hurt. And I am crying. Just like I followed you to the escalator but you did not do any of that for moi come on girl what finally to round up reunion episode one uti the host now questions caroline and tiana's relationship he said what went wrong girl when i tell you it was intense the insults flew back and forth you are a liar you did this you spoke to my husband. My husband said this. There was a mention where Tiana was really cheesed off because Caroline talked about Tiana's son and she was like, you know what? You are the lowest of the low. You are this. You are that. I'm not going to repeat it. I just look too fabulous. I can't do it. But when I tell you that they fought Caroline and Tiana, it really, really explained that boss bass that they had on Twitter one fine Saturday afternoon when you guys kept on DMing me on Twitter on Instagram, do I see how Caroline and Tiana are going off? There's a lot of hurt there. There's a lot of betrayal on both sides and they have to hash it out. Hence the reunion part one and that is how it ended. With a ghost mask, Caroline and Tiana dragged, they dragged each other and that was how it ended. Darlings, I will be back for reunion part two. Drop down in the comments your opinions. Make you not chook mouth. Organe. Make you not chook mouth. Like, share, subscribe with this beat. Thank you very much, guys. And I will see you when? I will see you very, very soon. Mwah. <laughs>